Juvenile Batten disease is an inherited uh, disease of childhood that is characterized by the constant accumulation of waste material within the cell. So think of a cell like a city. You know, uh, activities in a city normally produce waste material, right? the, the garbage. And think of what would happen if uh, the collection and the elimination of the waste material in a city uh, would be very inefficient, very ineffective. Well, initially the city could still cope with that, right? but then over time, when you know, the accumulation of this waste material uh, will become overwhelming, then most activities within the city will be impacted in a very bad way. So this is exactly what happens in the cell in patients with Batten disease. They have mutations in a gene that is called silent 3 uh, This gene produces a protein uh, that normally works in the cell center for uh, the waste management. Uh, the center is called the lysosome. Basically what the lysosome does is to collect and um, eliminate the cellular uh, waste. It works a little bit like a waste-based energy plants because it can produce energy out of the waste. And it also work, uh, works a little bit uh, like a recycling center uh, because the waste material will be processed so to produce smaller pieces of material, molecules, that then can be used uh, by the cell in, um, in other processes. So in this way they are uh, recycled. So, uh, in Batten disease, this process is impaired because of deficiency in the silent 3 uh, gene. And uh, so, the cells uh, keep accumulating waste material. They are not very efficient at, at eliminating, at managing this waste material. And uh, this uh, affects especially the neurons, uh, which are the cells that constitute our brain. So, we thought, okay, we should look for a way to make waste management in the cell more effective. Well, a few years back, we discovered that there is a, a master gene, uh, which is called the TFEB, that acts like a switch to control the uh, production of lysosomes and also to control their efficiency. So basically more TFEB in the cells means more effective lysosomes, more uh, effective waste management. So what was missing was a way uh, to uh, activate TFEB. So we have discovered now that uh, the activity of TFEB is under the control of another protein that is called the AKT. The good news is that there are drugs out there that have been designed uh, to target AKT. So we can use these drugs to uh, activate TFEB. And so in this way, we can make uh, cellular waste management more effective. We have verified that uh, the use of these drugs can actually make uh, cellular waste management more effective when the cylindry protein is missing, you know, a condition like the juvenile Batten disease. And so this gives us proof of principle that uh, this can be used to design therapies uh, by leveraging the existence of these molecules.